Welcome to the homework for lesson three. This is module four, first grade. Get your name on here first. Count as many tens as you can. Complete each statement. Say the numbers and the sentences. So this is one of the ones, these fill in the blanks parts. We're not just writing in numbers. We're going to read the whole sentence out loud when we're done. And I want you to do that too. These are groups of ten. Two tens, three ones is the same as twenty-three ones. It's important to say it out loud. It happens a lot of times that you think you know something and you try to say it out loud or explain it to somebody else and you find out you don't really know it like you thought you did. So it's important to practice saying it out loud. And I know a lot of first graders just won't do that, but it really matters. So here we're looking at tens. One, two, there's three tens. Six ones is the same as 36 ones. That six is pretty sloppy. Let me clean that up. There. One ten and zero ones is the same as 10 ones. And now here we've got, you can see one, two, there's three tens. In this, think of this as a 10 frame here, that's 8 because there's 2 that are missing, right? So we've got 3 tens, 8 ones is the same as 38 ones. And if you don't believe me, you could count it all. You can count each single one of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm not going to keep doing that. But you could count every single one of them one at a time. You, and you get the number 38 when you're done. And here it says fill in the missing numbers. So if you don't know what this is supposed to look like, this can be kind of tricky. But here's what you're supposed to start with. Just start with the regular way. So that's the number 29. We can see here that it's 2 tens, 9 ones. So that's the number 29. It's 2 tens, 9 ones, or the same as 29 ones. And we're just going to keep doing that. And in different, in different order. So here's the number 34. That's three tens, four ones, or the same as 34 ones. And now we, here we have the place value chart. So we're going to write this. When you see a blank space here like that, that's just looking for the regular way. That's the number 38. Three tens, eight ones is 38. And then that's the same as 38 ones. And sometimes we'll see that it's, in, it's all in ones. Sometimes it's in ones and tens. Sometimes it's in tens and ones. We call that unit form because we're counting by the units of tens, units of tens, and units of ones. So here we're looking for a regular way, and we have three tens and nine ones. That's number 39. Don't be fooled just because you see the nine on the left and the three on the right that this is the number 93. It's not. You have to pay attention to the units and, and read it carefully. And so that's also the same as 39 ones. And then here we have uh, 40 ones here. So we know that's the regular way is just the number 40. And this is how many ones, how many tens. Well, you could do this a lot of different ways, really, if you think of it. We could call it four tens and zero ones. Or you could have it as three tens and ten ones. That would work too. Or two tens and twenty ones. That would also work. And there's a lot of right answers that could work there. Choose at least one number less than 40. Draw the number in three ways. Okay, so I'm going to choose a number. I'll put it in the place value chart first. And I'm going to pick the number. I always pick the number 37. So that's three tens seven ones and so i'm going to draw gra as grapes that's a gr so i need three bunches of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. there's a bunch one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's another bunch one two three four five six seven 
eight, nine, ten. There's another bunch. And now I need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a number bond that would be thirty and seven for thirty-seven.